good morning good morning ma'am good morning so we'll start discussing the questions ready okay right now you can start the reaction to external stressors called options uh, option a strain option b stress option c tension option d stress response hmm. the reaction to external stressor what is it called strain strain correct Meg. After some time. Hi, Shreya. How many states, ma'am? Assessment of personality is also there. Yes. How many statements are there in MMPI? Options are needed. Yes. Uh, four eighty two, three ninety six, five sixty seven, seven sixty five. Five sixty seven. Yes. Okay. Sneha. Who suggested that different stressor may produce somewhat different pattern of stress reaction, and different individual may have different characteristics modes of response? Uh, should I give the options? Yes. Okay. Uh, Sigmar Freud, Hans mm. Seel, mm. then uh, Carl Rogers. Mm. Yes, sir. Answering. Okay. Right now. The positive stress is known as stress. Option A, stress. Option B, eustress. Option C, distress. Positive stress or a stressor that causes a positive effect. It is known as dash. You stress. You stress, correct. Then, Amal. Amal, next question. From personality, assessment of personality or meeting with life challenges starting. And the Indian version of MMPA developed by Malik and Joshi is known as Dash. Indian version of MMPA? Developed uh, by Malik and Joshi is known as Dash. I did not hear you properly. Ma'am, the Indian version of MMPA developed by Malik and Joshi is known as Dash. Oh. <laughs> Answer? Huh? Jodhpur multifacet personality test. Correct? Uh, Jodhpur multifacet personality inventory. It's not clear for me. Can you guys check? Is it correct or not? No, ma'am. Instead of test, it is inventory. Inventory. Okay. Then, Sneha. Stress is a lethargic mental mm -hmm. cognitive state. True or false? Stress is a 
lethargic yeah. mental cognitive state what do you mean by lethargy maybe yeah. lazy lethargic or tired true or false false okay elvina which one of the following is a tendency on the part of the respondent to mm. endorse items in a socially desirable manner mm. options option a accusins mm. option b 16 pf mm. option c social mm. desirability option d none of the above okay answer answer please to so repeat the question yes once more the tone of the following is a tendency to mm. a tendency of mm. the respondent to endorse items in a socially desirable manner mm. social desirability Yes, ma'am. Yes, correct. Dishma, next one. Who suggested that the best method to assess a person is by asking them about themselves? Hmm. Option A, cattle. Option B, all pork. C, icing. D, fruit. All pork. Correct. Okay. Next one. Ah, uh, Raina. What were the types of stress appraisal given by Lazarus? Option A, environmental and psychological and social. Option B, primary and secondary. Option C, cognitive, emotional and social. Option D, physical, personal and social. Which are the types of appraisals given by Lazarus? It comes in the introduction part. It has a flow chart. Primary and secondary. Correct. Okay, I should. Yeah, next one. Social desirability and appearances are the two disadvantages of which method of assessment of personality? Sixteen. No. Options. Options. Give the options. Sixteen B F self report measures. uh both a and b none of the above should i repeat the question or the options in the self report measures yes self report measures self report measures have a uh, major disadvantage that is it has uh, so many response biases we call them response bias from the side of the respondent there will be a bias and for most of the tests there will be but still uh, when you are doing a self report measure suppose i am giving you a test and um, you will be worried i mean uh, if not you somebody else they'll be worried that uh, they'll be judged based on this so they'll try and answer uh, or give the answers in a very socially desirable manner or some people might not be even interested so what they'll do is they'll give random uh, responses like when you are going for uh, an exam and you are unprepared you not prepared well what will you do you'll do inky pinky punky and mark the responses in it just like that if they are not interested or if they are not prepared for the test they will obviously do that that is also one type of bias from the side of the respondent okay and if there are too many uh, options like you know not options or questions like maybe um 265 questions in the test or 500 and uh, so and so uh, questions in a test you will be tired isn't it 
you can't even uh, answer for the questions mcq so you'll get tired by then and then you're going to sit and answer 500s and 600s of questions it'll be tiresome yeah that's it make now next one the pattern of responses an organism and makes to stimulus even that disturbs equilibrium and exceeds per a person's ability to cope as known as dash option a is stress option b distress option c strain option b option d stress i think you'll have to repeat the pattern of responses an organism mm. makes to stimulus event that disturbs the equilibrium and exceeds a person's ability to cope is known as dash option a is stress option b distress option c strain option d stress mm -hmm. correct ma'am i can hear she didn't hear louder mic mm -hmm. Option A, B, C, or D. D. Okay, the stress, no. Stress, yes. Ah, uh, Sneha, next one. What are the events that causes our body to give the stress response? Options: irritant, ah, uh, traumas, stressor, distress. What are the what are the events that causes our body to give the stress response options irritant trauma stressor distress which are the events that cause our body to give the stress response or reaction stressors yeah we call them stress any agent that causes uh, stress that is called a stressor okay ashish the external stressor is also called hmm can you repeat can you repeat the the external oh. stressor oh. is also called dash the external stressor uh oh, options uh, stress is stress distress strain hmm is it the external stressor or the reaction to external stress just check 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 the question once more hmm any change in the question no no okay to see answer nobody knows okay tell the answer ashish strain that is a reaction to external stress no ah uh, yes yes what did you ask the reaction to external stress is also called dash <laughs> i heard the external stress is also called dash maybe you were muted when you said reaction okay anyways it's fine uh, next question um grishma assertion stress resides either in the individual or the environment reason it is a dynamic mental or cognitive state 
Can you repeat slowly once more? Obsession, stress resides either in the individual or the environment. Mm. Uh, reason, it is a dynamic mental or cognitive state. Mm. Can you repeat the reason? Stress is a dynamic mental or cognitive state. Confused. A is false, R is true. A is false, R is true. Okay. Amal. Melraj. The word stress had origin from his language. Huh? Um, the word stress had origin from which language? Ah, the word stress had its origin from which language? Options. Uh, I'm French, Latin, uh, German. No. French, Latin, German. Which one? Yes, Latin. Ashish. Latin. Answer. No. Somebody said the answer. Was it? Tell, tell, unmute and speak. Unmute and speak. Those who know the answer, unmute and tell the answer. Latin. Is it Latin? Okay, fine. Uh, next, Mehek. Who is the father of modern stress research? No options. Father of modern stress research. Answer here. That's a very important question. If you don't know, write and study. Father of modern stress research. Answer here. Okay. Amal. Uh, the other Amal, you have a question, Amal Kesaji. Ma'am, from where I can I get question? Uh, assessment of personality, that is one portion, chapter two, and uh, the starting of chapter three, that is still page number 53. Uh, no, page, not page number 53, or which, which, till which did I say? 52 last paragraph. 52 last paragraph. Okay, you prepare, I'll come back to you. Elvina. A dash is the assessment of the damage that has been already done by an event. Hmm. Assessment of damage that has been already done by? Done by an event. Hmm. Okay. Options? No options, Lina? Yes, ma'am. Option A, damage. Option B, threat. Option C, um, harm. And option D, negative events. Hmm. Even if you don't know, you can guess from the names, isn't it? Answer. Um. Correct. Correct or not? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so that is harm. Isn't it? Harm is something that has been already happened. Threat is something. Threatening is uh, just the ongoing process. After that, after that major threat, some event will occur. Because of that, the person will have a major problem, isn't it? Yes. 
नेक्स्ट वन आशीष I want some more thing. Fine. Okay. Raina. Ramsley defines stress as option A, pattern of response an organism makes stimulus even that disturbs the equilibrium that exceeds a person's ability to cope. Option B, the non-specific response to, of the body to any demand. Option C, all challenges, problems and difficulties, some circumstances. Option D, Phenomenon that increases the probability of one's survival. Can you repeat the options? Option A, the pattern of response any organism makes to stimulus even that disturbs equilibrium and exceeds a person's ability to cope. Option B, the non-specific response of the body to any demand. Option C, all challenges, problems, and difficulties, circumstances. Option D, the phenomenon that increases the probability of one's survival. Option D. B or D? B. Okay. Aishwarya. One minute. Hmm. Make now. Stress is often explained in terms of characteristics of the environment that are disruptive to the individual. True or false? Stress is often explained in terms of characteristics of the environment that are disruptive to the individual. Hmm. That are disruptive True. to the individual. Meg, you said something? True. True, yes. Vishadya. Which is the method used by cattle uh, to identify the basic personality structure? Hmm. Options. 16BF, factor analysis, both A and B, none of the above. By cattle, no? Should it yours? Okay. Factor analysis? Yes. Yes, factor analysis. And that is why uh, he has found out the number of factors which are related to the personality characteristics. Okay. Next one, Grishma. Dash and his colleagues propounded the cognitive theory of stress. What theory of stress? Cognitive theory of stress. Hmm. Options. Uh, option A, Selye. Option B, Lazarus. Option C, Kabi. Option D, Bandura. Lazarus. Right. Yes, Lazarus theory is based on a cognitive basis. Okay, and that flow chart that you can see in the uh, initial part of the chapter, that is also um trying to explain i mean some part is trying to explain lazarus model okay then mal malraj yeah. hmm. a different stressor may produce somewhat different pattern of stress reaction and different individual may have different Characteristic mode of response, true or false? Can you repeat slowly? Uh, different stressor may produce somewhat different pattern of stress reaction, mm. and different individual may have different characteristic mode of response, true or false? No, oh, true or false. True. Correct. Sneha. The primary and secondary appraisal 
process determines not only our cognitive and behavioral response, but also our emotional and physiological responses to dash events. Options, internal, external, negative, positive. External. Okay. Mm, Mahek. Who developed MMPI? Who developed MMPI? What is the full form of MMPI? Minnesota? Multiphasic personality inventory. Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory. Okay. Who developed it? McKinley and Hathaway. McKinley and Hathaway. Yes. Alvina. All the challenges, problems, and difficult circumstances put us to what condition or what situation? And so, can you give the options? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You stress, distress, stress, or none of the above. Hmm. Answer. Answer, please. You stress, distress, or stress? Can you hear the question? Alvina? All the challenges, problems, and difficult circumstances put us to what condition or mm. what situation? Mm. Stress. Yes, ma'am. Mm. When you're hungry, also you'll sit silent like this. You have to ask, no? Okay. Ashish. Does stress produce unpleasant effect and they can cause our performance to deterioration? Deterioration, yes. Option A. Uh, option A, high. Option B, low. Less. Option C, none of this. Option D, all of the above. Okay. Can you repeat the question? Does stress, does stress produce unpleasant effects and they can cause our performance to deterioration? Mm. Talking about stress is creating stress. Hmm. Answer? High, less, none of the above, all of the above. Hi. Hi? Yes. Yes. Okay. Amal Kesaji? Dash is a dynamic or mental cognitive state. Dash is a dynamic or mental cognitive? State. State. Okay. Options. You stress, distress, stress, none of the above. You stress, distress, and none of the above. And trust, stress. <laughs> you stress, distress, none of the above. Stress. And uh, <laughs> answer. Stress. Yes, correct. Okay. Mm. Next one, Grishma. A dash of reason is likely to be made when we perceive an event as stressful. A primary, B secondary, C tertiary, B all of the above. Which is the appraisal? Can you repeat the question? Options are uh, primary, secondary, tertiary, none of the above, or all of the above. All of the above, okay. 
person is likely to be made when when we perceive an event as stressful when we perceive an event as stressful which is a depression primary no second which one is it second second just see that page which number mm, 53 <clears throat> last line when we perceive an event as stressful we are likely to make a secondary appraisal which is the assessment of one's coping abilities and resources and whether they will be sufficient to meet the harm so after that we are making this appraisal okay right next one megna the meaning of the latin words strictus is known as dash option a response option b tight option c narrow option d both b and c option d okay ashura how many dimensions in total did i think found in epq uh, include in epq hmm Three. Yes. I think dimensions. Um. From. Yeah. Initially there were. Two, and then one more was added. Okay. And next, Sneha. Who suggested that the best method to access a person is by asking them about himself or herself? options cattle i think alpot all three a b c suggested that hmm. i think we discuss this that's okay anyways say the answer alpot yes then uh one uh, more i think bye hi Which of the following is the specific dimensions of personality? Hmm. Uh, optimism. Optimism. Uh, the specific dimensions of personality. Hmm. Uh, which of uh, options? Other terrorism, optimism, none of this, all of the above. Optimism, other terrorism. Yeah, all of the above. Ah, none of this. None of the above. I don't know from which section this is. Sixteen PF. Sixteen PF. Okay. So, are you asking about the sixteen PF uh, factors? Yes. Yes. Okay. Second paragraph. <laughs> okay. Find the answer. Optimism. Dorthianism. All of the above. None of the above. Make a guess at least. All of the above. correct yes yes because both of them yes. are included in that optimism and the other one okay um amal raj name of this made by this report is your voice is breaking test. your voice is breaking once more name of the test made by alport hmm All put options: self-report measure, behavior analysis, personality test. Hmm. What is it? 
self report measure in process self report measure but that is also a form of personality test okay uh next one mahek ma'am i'm out of questions you want time yeah okay elvina self report measures uh, is scored in what terms options hmm. option a qualitative option b quantitative option c both of the above and option d none of the above hmm. quantitative yes ma'am quantitative okay then amal kesha ji ma'am one minute one minute okay now let me ask you another thing do you remember anything from the first chapter yes or no okay what do you call an individual's preference to engage in one activity than the other interest is interest all your answer i mean all of you have with interest okay dasher enduring beliefs about an ideal mode of behavior what is it values Value. yeah values then dash refers to relatively enduring characteristics of a person that make her or him distinct from others personality personality okay what was charles pierman's theory what is the name two factor theory two factor theory louis thurston's theory pma theory of primary mental abilities primary mental abilities then uh, for form of pass model learning or also attention simultaneous successive simultaneous successive yes then who proposed the pass model ap das chat nagarian kirby mm. kirby then what is the battery test battery related to pass model cognitive assessment cognitive assessment system system <laughs> i should make this a group test cognitive assessment system also called cas it is a test battery you know the age range Five to eighteen. Five to eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Then, who gave the theory of multiple intelligences? Howard Gardner. Howard Gardner. Then, hmm. Arthur Jensen's theories. Two levels. hierarchical model of intelligence hmm. hierarchical model which are the two levels association and hmm <laughs> every time you get a mistake in that level 1 level 2 level 1 level 2 <laughs> wow, how funny i'm asking the names specific things learning and cognitive competence associated learning and cognitive competence which is the first one associated associated learning, learning. sure yes ma'am okay then just see that okay association uh, associative no what is given as associative learning and the cognitive competence uh, learn it in alphabetical order then you won't confuse a then c level 1 and level 2 it is also known as hierarchical model then structure of intellect who gave the structure of theory of structure of intellect 
Guilford. Guilford. It's Guilford's theory. Structure of intellect. And uh, how many cells? 180 cells. 180 cells. It's a three-dimensional model. And uh, which are the three parts? Three components? Six into five into six. <laughs> What what six into what five into what five or six? Contents. Ah, contents. Operation. Operations. Products. Products. Okay. At the COP. <clears throat> then what else? Oh, um, Alfred Binet's theory is known as what theory? Or comes under which category of theories? One or unifactor theory. One factor theory or unifactor theory. Then there are two approaches to intelligence. Which are they? Intelligence theories. Two approaches. Information processing and psychometric. Hmm. Information processing and psychometric. And which approach uh, <clears throat> gives a uh, single index after measuring or uh, considers uh, or depicts intelligence in terms of a single index? Psychometric. Sure. I mean, if you think it's psychometric. And what about the rest of you? Undecided or information processing? Or are you still processing the answer? It's there in the beginning of uh, the theories. Page number five. Psychometric approach, it expresses the individual's performance in terms of a single index of cognitive abilities. Don't learn that by heart. Psychometric means we measure the psychological properties or psychological attributes. So psychometric, we measure psychometric. And uh, in intelligence, we give a total score, no? We give an IQ for a person. So it is a single index. Understood? So psychometric approaches. Uh, explains or expresses intelligence in terms of a single index. Learn it like that. Okay. Information processing, it's a vast thing. Different processes are being discussed. Okay. Then, what do you call that bell-shaped curve? Normal. Normal curve. Uh, and uh, we call that distribution as normal distribution. Okay, when we draw it in terms of a graph, then yeah, what uh, contribution did William Stern make? William Stern. IQ. IQ. What is the uh, equation for IQ? Equation for IQ? Everybody knows that's why it's so silent. <clears throat> Megna, this equation for IQ. IQ equal to MA by C into 100. IQ equal to MA by C into 100. <clears throat> okay. Then, which was the first attempt to measure intelligence? Who did it? Formally, <clears throat> formally measured uh, intelligence that was done by um, Alfred Binet and Theodore Simon. Then triarchic theory. Who proposed the triarchic theory? Robert Sternberg. Robert Sternberg. Okay. And the rest we'll see the next day. Okay. For the 
next class when you come you have to prepare the rest of the third chapter till page number You do it till stress and health. Next class is on Tuesday, no? We have ample time. So stress and health. Just before general adaptation syndrome. Okay. All right. And this is a pretty general chapter. So you have to read and understand. Read continuously and understand the topic. Register it in your mind and keep. Fine. All right. Thank you. Don't forget to prepare the questions and come.